Hello and welcome to the Elf Medicine Safety Podcast. My name is Alan Cotney, I'm the Medication Safety Officer for the organisation and I'm joined again by our Medical Director, Dr Kevin Cleary. In this episode we're going to be discussing something that's quite common in ELF and that's the prescribing of high dose antipsychotic drugs. So I was wondering firstly Kevin, do you mind explaining for us what we mean by high dose antipsychotics? Very simply, that's prescribing a dose of antipsychotic medication above the limit in the British National Formulary in the BNF mm -hmm. and that can be measured either uh, one or two ways. If you prescribe one drug then that's uh, a dose above uh, the limit for that drug. If you prescribe two drugs then it's uh, you have to combine those doses together uh, uh, even if both of them are actually below the limit. Okay, so the maximum would be exceeded if those two combined drugs together exceed yeah. the recommended maximum. That's absolutely right and people don't always remember that. Okay, and what is the problem with using high dose antipsychotics? The main problem is that the more you increase the dose of the medication, the more likely you are to get side effects, serious side effects, which um, interfere with the life of the patient or actually can cause them serious harm. Okay. Okay, but are higher doses of antipsychotics more effective? No, the evidence is pretty strong that that is not the case. Indeed, what usually happens is that the um, incidence of side effects increases, yeah. um, uh, but that makes but no difference to the clinical condition. So the evidence suggests that few people should be prescribed high-dose antipsychotic drugs, but what's the reality in our organisation? How often are high doses used? So a recent survey shows for our inpatients, about 28% of patients are receiving higher than recommended um, dose levels. So that's about one in four of our patients. So what should staff do? So I think there's three basic things that we need to do. So one is, um, for most patients, they don't need high-dose uh, therapy, so we should be doing this less frequently. Mm -hmm. um, secondly, uh, reviewing PRM medication, because quite often what we find is the patient is on high-dose medication because they're on PRN, which they no longer need. Okay. So if that PRM medication was stopped, then this stops being a problem. Uh, and finally, for a smaller group of patients, they will need um, to have um, high-dose therapy, but there's a strict policy around this, strict monitoring, so that if you are, if you really do need that, uh, then you'll be monitored in a way which will help prevent you get the side effects and serious harm. Great. And we'll just show the monitoring form that needs to be completed on the screen for you there. Thank you, Kevin, and thank you for watching this overview of high-dose antipsychotic prescribing. Thank you.